Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will discuss about something super exciting. Honda's big step towards the electric scooter world and Honda has launched not one but two electric scooters, the Activa E and the QC1. Both scooters bring a fresh perspective to the Indian EV market but they are designed for different audiences and different purposes. So are you curious to know which one suits you best? Stay in the video because I am going to break it down all for you. So for all the details, make sure to watch the full video. First, let's talk about the design and aesthetics. The Activa E has a simple and modern look with clean lines and all LED lighting setup. It even takes inspiration from the Honda's European CUVE, so you are getting that classy European vibe right here in India. On the other hand, the QC1 is more basic, focusing on being a practical and straightforward commuter but it looks stylish with LA lights and multiple color options. Now let's move on to the battery and charging system. This is where these two scooters really makes a difference. The Activa E uses twin 1.5 kW swappable batteries and here's the best twist. You don't recharge this at home. Instead, Honda is setting up battery swapping stations in cities like Bangalore, Mumbai and Delhi. Just swap your empty battery for a fully charged one in minutes. Well, this is not for everyone. It is super useful for those who lives in the flats that does not have that charging places. On the other hand, the QC1 keeps things traditional. It has a fixed 1.5 kW battery that you can charge at home. It takes about 6 hours and 50 minutes to fully charge. But if you are in a hurry, you can charge it to 80% in just 4 hours and 30 minutes. So if you have easy access to charging at home, the QC1 might be just suitable for you. Now let's talk about range and performance. The Activa E offers a range of 102 km on a single swap. It's also a bit of speeder for an EV with a top speed of 80 km per hour and a quick acceleration from 0 to 60 in just 7.3 seconds. That's impressive for an electric scooter. The QC1 on the other hand gives you a 80 km range with a top speed of 50 km per hour. It's perfect for city commutes. That is nothing too fancy but reliable and efficient. Now let's compare the features and hardware. The Activa E is packed with tech. It has a TFT display that varies by variant. The entry level model has a 5 inch TFT with basic Bluetooth functions, while the high end variant features a 7 inch screen with navigation, music controls, and notifications. Plus, you got multiple riding modes, a reverse mode, and a keyless ignition system. But this does not have any underseat storage. This is not just another type of EV scooters with space. The QC1, while simpler, it offers plenty of value. It has a 5 inch LCD display, LED lights, two riding modes, and even a USB Type C charging port. And guess what? It comes with a 26 liter of underseat storage that is perfect for your groceries, bag, or even a helmet. Now let's discuss availability and pricing. The Activa E will initially be available in Delhi, Mumbai and Bangalore because of the battery swapping network Honda is setting up. Bookings start on January 1, 2025 and deliveries will follow in February. The QC1 however will be available pan India right from the start since it used conventional charging. Same booking and delivery dates, January for booking and February for deliveries. Finally, let's talk about who should buy these scooters. If you live in a city with Honda's battery swapping stations and need a higher range and advanced features, the Activa E is your go-to choice. It's sleek, modern and perfect for tech enthusiasts. But if you prefer a simpler, no-hassle scooter that you can charge at home, the QC1 is a practical option. It's reliable, affordable and gets the job done. So this is the video for now. What is your thought on this model? Please mention that on the comment box below. Until next time, be safe, ride safe.